scripture found in the book of uh, Revelation, Jesus was speaking. He said, I have speaking to the seven churches of Asia, he said, I have somewhat against you. Yes. Amen. That's something I don't never want the Lord to ever have to say. All come right, on. Come on. I don't want him to have anything against me. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. All right. Amen. Amen. Jesus told me to come out of the world yes. to be you separate, yes. said the Lord. Yes. Amen. He said, we are a peculiar people yes. that we should show forth the praises of him that has called us yes. out of darkness into oh. the darkness. Yes. I'm glad I know who Jesus is. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Valentine, what's your testimony? I just like to thank the Lord for his many blessings. I thank him for the Holy Ghost, and I thank him for the opportunity to be in his house one more time tonight. Amen. 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 We used to go to church with them several years ago, and uh, we left to pursue other things, amen, and uh, left, we actually moved to Alabama, amen, the, the second time I believe it was, and, uh, but I won't do him like he does me, he tries to throw me on the bus when, when he's up uh, doing something and I'm just following him, amen, he tells everybody, he taught me everything I know, amen, so if I make boo-boos tonight, just, I learned that from him. Amen. If you go back and watch the video, our son was preaching last night. And he got to talking about how he used to think himself of Fabio, and now his hair is unfogged off. Amen. And I was standing next to the pastor. I couldn't help myself. I took the phone where I was videoing. And so <laughs> Showed the top of his head. Amen. So, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you got your Bibles tonight, amen. We're going to read one scripture in Romans chapter 7. Amen. We appreciate the Lord tonight. appreciate the opportunity of being here tonight. Romans. Amen. Romans chapter 7, verse 21. I'll just be uh, reading one scripture from there. Amen. When you get it, say amen. 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 Romans 7 and 21 says, I find then a law that when I would do good, right. evil is present with me. Yeah, right. Amen. Let's read it again. It said, I find then a law that when I would do good, yeah. evil is present with me. Yeah. Amen. Y'all pray with us tonight. God, we thank you for this time. This God, we ask you one more time, God, to help us tonight. God, we ask you to be the God to make us a God, God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God to make us a God, to be the God is not God. In our own way, God tried to be pleasing to you. Thank you, Lord. Give us the strength tonight, God. We give you praise on the floor and let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. You turn with me now to Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Amen. Very familiar scriptures. And I've been looking for a Bible that I wouldn't have to get up and wear my glasses because. I was telling y'all last time I got to buy photos and I get distracted a lot when I'm in a hurry. So she got me the ginormous print. Super John. And uh, I told her, I said, I love that. I said, I thought I was preaching to the Bible and I was four foot from it. I got to see it. Amen. 
But chapter 3 of Genesis verse 1. So now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Yea, shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Amen? Ye shall not surely die. Amen? We know the rest of the story. I won't keep reading there. Amen. But how many knows the enemy most of the time does not come in as an enemy? That's right. Enemy comes in as a friend. Right. Right. When I was in school, I remember the play or whatever the book we was reading about. Uh, uh, is it Julius Caesar maybe or, or uh, where it says you take you take or something like you two brutes? Yeah. Hey Amen. Somebody that was supposed to be on his side. Hey Amen. Ain't that so much similar to the Word of God? Hey Amen. Where he picked out the twelve disciples and one of them was the devil. Hey Amen. He sat at the table with them and ate with them. Hey Amen. He dipped in the same bowl with them. Hey Amen. How they would like to eat Mexican food. Yeah, buddy. Hey, man. When I hate it when they bring out just a, just two or three little bowls of dip and you got about eight people sitting around. Hey, man. I like to have my own bowl because I'm not going to just play around with it. Hey, man. I want to eat it. Hey, man. Hallelujah. When I come to the house of God, I don't want to just come and play around with a little bit. No. Hey, man. But I want to get all up and get, brother. Oh, man. Hey, man. Hallelujah. I don't want to have it. Hey, man. I'm not there. Have a little hors d'oeuvres on the two pigs. And then that's just a little appetizer. And then they're trying to tell you you can go somewhere else and get full. And then we're just being a little polite. And then how many know you don't just come in the house of God and then to be polite? Sometimes we get in our mind, well, Lord, 
It won't be everything. This will be okay and that will be okay. But he said, all. A-L-L. -L. All. Amen. In verse 28, says, There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when they shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God. And you yourselves thrust, thrust out. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last. Amen. It's in the same day. Amen. I want y'all to listen to this. Come on. If you missed it so far, Jesus has been talking, amen, been teaching, been preaching, amen. But I want, I want you to catch this right here. Since the same day, he didn't wait till later, he didn't wait till the next week. Well, but the same day, there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell the thoughts. Behold, I cast out devils in your midst, and I do cures to take it. And tomorrow, and the third day, I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I walk in the day and tomorrow, and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to look that devil in the eye and say, You old sly fox, I'm here today. And honey, I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm gonna blow your house down. 
Amen. I'm a poet now. Amen. But some of us are built out of the straw. Amen. And as long as you got the straw, you won't last. Amen. And some of us are built out of sticks. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, there's a strong wind come through. It'll blow your wood pile down. Amen. But the one that was built out of stone. Amen. You ain't gonna die. The only thing you had to do 
was bring death into the ear of Eve. Bring death. That's what it's all about. Amen. If the devil can cause you to doubt what God's through spoke. Amen. And you mess it with the same enemy that Eve messed with. It may not look the same. It may not come rolled the same way. Amen. It may call itself something else. Amen. But when it comes in speaking deceit and trying to cause you to doubt, you might as well look at it and say, You did it for the devil. Amen. Get away from me. I find you in the name of Jesus. Get out of here. Get away from my ear. Amen. Oh. Come on, Come on. David went out there just to take some food. He said, I'm just going to help. Amen. See, God's just looking for somebody that's willing. Yeah. Amen. It ain't about how, how fancy you can dress. Amen. It ain't about how much money you got in the bank. Amen. It ain't about what you're riding around in. Amen. It ain't worried about what your last name is. Amen. So we get this thing twisted so many times. We say, oh, they from the wrong side of the tracks. Amen. Then they just ain't going to do. But you know what? God has a history of reaching way over there out of the way and pulling somebody up. Amen. Hallelujah. That nobody even thought about. Nobody gave a chance to. Amen. And God has a way of reaching back and saying, if you'll just follow me, amen, I'll make you fish for me. If you'll follow me, I'll use you. If you'll follow me, I'll bring you up to be the head and not the tail. And my God, the labor and not the bar. He said, if you'll follow me, amen, and abide in me, let me find you. David come out there. He said, what's going on? Just bring in the food. And he said, oh, but we just sizing this thing up. No matter. David probably looked at it and said, what is there to size? What is there to size? So we get our eyes on the looks of something, the size of something, trying to figure it out for all right. Amen. If we all knew just how small our mind was compared, amen, to what God can do. Amen. The Bible said we can't even comprehend. Amen. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither to the hearts of men. And it was the store for us. And the same God that did all of that is the same God that lives inside of us. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said, Greater is He to send me than He to send the world. Amen. So when I'm up against something, Amen. I'm not going to fight it by myself, but I'm going to let the Spirit inside of me fight it. Amen. All I got to do is get over to it and say, God, the battle's not mine, but it's yours. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. And David said, You know what? As little as I am, I done slew a bear. He said, but I know it wasn't me, but it was a God that I come with. Amen. The God that's with me did it. Amen. He said, you know what? I done slew a lion, but it was not me. It's the God that's with me. And he said that I'm circumcised Philistine to some land. Amen. He's got his mouth open, and he's coming against the church. Amen. He said, that same devil will go down. We hear preaching. We go to church every time the doors are open. Amen. We're all guilty. Amen. And we know the word. Amen. Or we're at least we're supposed to know the word. But so many times we still find ourselves like David's brothers. Amen. And they say, Well, you know, okay, we know it can happen, but we got to do it this way. Amen. We got to do it this way. So they tried to put all that stuff on David. And David said, you know what? I can't, this has not been approved, amen. All that stuff has been on David. And no doubt David can barely move. He said, I can't move with that. I can't fight with that stuff on. God has not approved that for me. Then he said, you know what? I do know. And he went out. No doubt. Like some of us do, especially us preachers, when we got an issue in our life, we got a circumstance. Amen. Sometimes our wife or our husband, whatever the situation is, may end up missing. Amen. But you know what? While we're out looking around, 
hurt somebody say, well, they just thinking on the things. No, amen, we get away from everything, all the distractions, so we can start praying, amen. And David broke away from everybody, and he said he went down, and he picked him up five smooth stones, amen, but no doubt, as he saw him, and he was looking there, I mean, he knows a lot of times we still, even preachers, we over-prepare sometimes, amen, but he went, and he said, Lord, I know, amen, as he put that in his pocket, he said, I know you was there when I went against the line, and I know you was there when I went against the fire, and you see this thing out here, it's too late in devil, amen, he's coming against your church, amen, he's coming against your people, amen, so I know, amen, the battle's won, I gotta do is show up, amen, but you know what, God, today is just another day that you have made, and if you give me the ability, I'll walk out there, and I'll let you in today, and I'll slay this old stone, and God, you are my stone. God in us. It's not us, but the God in us. Amen. The Bible said, put on this mind. It was also in Christ Jesus. That's the whole point of the word Christian. Christ life. If you have these friends of mine on Facebook, you know, you can look on there one day and probably figure out I'm a true patriot. And I get carried away sometimes. But it's something I love. And if we're in America, we're supposed to love it. Yeah. Amen. If we don't, then we'll take a collection to get you a ticket to wherever you want to go. Yes, sir. Amen. How are you? But a Christian, just like American, is supposed to be American body. Amen. I'll stop right there. But a Christian is supposed to be Christ like. Amen. Supposed to put on that mind of Christ. Alright. Put on the horn. Amen. So when I can read in the word, and I'm supposed to be like Christ. And he said, You go tell that fox. I'm not leaving today. And I'm going to be here tomorrow. And I'm going to be here the day after that. Amen. If we'll make up our mind tonight, I'm talking about a made up mind. So that's one thing can nobody do for you. They can pray for you, they can encourage you, they can lift your name up in prayer, they can be there, talk to you, lend an ear. But what goes on between your ears can't nobody do for you. Amen. Can't nobody do for you. But when we make up our mind, say, Your fox, I'm not leaving. I'm still going to be here tomorrow. And the day after that, and as long as there's breath in this body, I'm going to keep showing up. Amen. Amen. Oh, we may get knocked down from time to time in the battles, but I'm going to show up every day to fight a new war. Amen. Getting back to that patriotic, I made a statement. I had some come against me. Me and the pastor shared a lot coming, I believe. Amen. Amen. I told him, I said, one thing for sure. This is how I. If I feel that strongly about something, I don't back down. I'm that stubborn. I said, I'll stand flat foot, look at them in the face, and take a bullet. They will not get me to back. And that's the way, if I get knocked down by the devil, he's going to do it be looking at him. Amen. Brother, he's going to do it be looking at him. If I slip and fall, I'm still going to have my eyes on him. Amen. I took martial arts, you can't tell it by looking at me. I took martial arts for years. Amen. I learned a little bit of stuff. But one thing they teach you. One thing they teach you. Even if you get 
you don't play the genius. You listen by pocket your right nose and see what happens. Most of the time you'll have tears. It ain't because you just want to cry. It's just a reaction. But they teach you in that fight, even if you have to wipe your eyes straight open because it's hard to blink when you got them like that. You keep your eyes on the enemy. Amen. I don't care how the battle is. And I don't care how bad it looks. We stay focused. We stay focused. We stay focused. Amen. Because I'm <laughs> I didn't start this a long time ago. I got too much invested to just quit now. Amen. I got too much invested to quit now. As my daddy passed away at 83 years old, just a few hours, or actually an hour or so before he went into a coma. 83 year old, he dealt with cancer. Laying there on the hospital bed, preached 10 minutes, spoke in tongues. That was the last thing he done before going off. He made 83 year old, wasn't even in the hospital until he was 78. 79. Had double pneumonia, mama made him go. He talked about how when they get cut real bad, they'd get soot out of the fire. Place and throw it in that gas and just oh, half his blood was probably soot. <laughs> Amen. But the same mind he had there. So even when he was 79 year old, I was there too. And he told the doctor, he said, if you'll let me go home this morning where I can attend to my church. He said, I'll come back tonight. <laughs> and he, finally the doctor said, well, I'm just going to send you home then. Amen, because he had his mind on the church. All right. Amen. If we got our mind on God and the things not of this world, we'll be here today. We'll be here tomorrow. All right. And we'll be here next week. Yeah. Until the battle's over. Amen. Yeah. Until our part anyway. Yeah. We'll still be here. Stay with us tonight. Amen. Somebody just needs to make up your mind tonight. Look at the devil in the 